Hello guys, welcome to Abdo channel. In today's video, we will see the difference between capex and opex. So capital expenditure and operational expenditure, right? So what does it mean actually by the expenditure? Expenditure refers to spending of your company funds to buy something. Okay. So that's what is it means as expenditure but the way you spend something or some spend some funds there is some difference that difference is causing us to know what does it mean by capital expenditure and operational expenditure the way you spend some amount to buy some resources or servers for your organization is the difference between capex and opex that's what we are going to learn today. What is the difference between CapEx and OPEX? So uh, if you take this graph, uh, then, uh, suppose in May 2022, I am buying so many servers to build an IT system as an upfront cost itself. I am putting up so much of amount or so much of money uh, to buy some uh, tens or hundreds of servers or storage devices, application servers, everything okay so uh, there is one time investment or the big investment i have to make here in the month of may 2022 after the server is deployed to the production and from in the next subsequent months even though uh, whether the server's usage is there or not uh, whether the server whether the application is sending so many requests or receiving so many requests or the usage is there or not i have to uh, spend something to maintain that particular server right the lot of maintenance uh, request uh, maintenance amount will be there in each and every month so that's about the capital expenditure it is about spending one time investment in at upfront itself and also there will be some maintenance cost every time irrespective of its uses okay in every month so the, let's take one example of uh, one server having some 80 percent of the cpu utilization okay or 100 percent of the cpu utilization in the month of may it is having only 30 percent june 40 around 40 and july it went up to 70 percent right so even though its usage is very less in the month of may and june and also in august right compared to july I have to maintain i have to spend some amount to maintain this particular server so um, because i i have spent a, a lot of amount in the upfront itself so here the maintenance cost is irrespective of its uses so i have to spend some amount of money to maintain it, this server which i have uh, bought uh, during the capital expenditure during the one-time investment so the uh, operational expenditure is something completely different you don't have to uh, buy anything upfront itself suppose in some cases organizations uh, don't want to buy anything or uh, some organizations buy want uh, buy some very uh, basic servers or very basic com with minimal configurations everything some configuration will be there some amount they have to spend in such cases or no amount will have to be spent in some cases that is called as operational expenditure Okay, you don't have to buy anything or spend anything up front itself. But based on its uses, suppose if you are having high uses, right, in the month of June, then you have to buy something, something more on that particular month or on that particular day or on that particular hour itself. So uh, you have to pay for what you use. So again, uh, if you are having very less traffic, then you can deallocate those main, uh, other servers and you have you can pay whatever you have used in the month of july again if the server utilization goes up you can pay whatever for the increased uses okay this is about operational expenditure there won't be any uh, any uh, any up uh, any upfront itself cost will not be there uh, will not be there okay one time investment will not be required so small organizations uh, when they are choosing, they, they can go for the operational expenditure when they are moving to the cloud. Okay, so these are the differences between CapEx and the OPEX. Okay, upfront cost, CapEx means upfront cost or one-time investment. 
operational expenditure means it is expenditure for running daily operations like maintenance cost are the are the cost that is uh, that is varying with the usage of the servers that is called as operational expenditure so buying servers or the storage for your own data center comes into your capital expenditure because you have to buy all of them on your own front itself right but here while coming to operational expenditure you have you, do, you are not going to buy anything but you are going to lease them from the cloud right lease the servers lease the storage lease the database lease the network everything you are going to lease them so for whatever use duration you use them you pay only for that duration that is what is called as pay as you go whatever duration whatever the uses you have used those resources from the cloud that only you have to pay but while coming to capital expenditure even irrespective of its uses right uh, we are spending the one time investment up front in the current financial year itself right but its uh, benefits will be there in the future year as well and also its value will be depreciated over time that's what it is right it is like a fixed asset we are spending something on a car or on a building uh, up front itself and its value will be depreciated every time right over the over the time in the over the years so that's what the capital expenditure is also all about so you have to buy something uh, i mean you have to have some depreciated cost in the future years as well for the capital expenditure you spent in the current year but while coming to operational expenditure there won't be any change because there is no um, there is nothing you are buying upfront itself in the operational expenditure right you are not buying any fixed assets with the big investment there won't be anything you are losing here there is nothing you are losing here in the operational expenditure over the time so there is no change with the value of the assets because you are paying what for what you use what you lease from the cloud and while coming to this one lots of maintenance is required yes we know that right we have seen it in the earlier videos when you are buying everything on your own when you are building deploying maintaining everything on your own data center you have to maintain them you have to maintain a lot of it experts as well to maintain the resources you have not only maintenance you have to maintain the secure you have to install the security patches you have to install the latest features or the latest version of the operating system or the application server all those things will come into maintenance right you have to buy the additional licenses if required all those things will be taken care by the uh, kept uh, organization but the, uh, the while coming to operational expenditure minimal maintenance is required because most of the maintenance work will be taken from will be offloaded from your organization and will be given to the cloud service provider right so cloud vendors will be taking care of the maintenance work only the minimal maintenance is required to be done by the enterprises so that is the difference between capital expenditure and operational expenditure that's all for today thank you for watching please give it a like share and subscribe to my channel we will meet with uh, another topic in the next video thank you for